Hi once again, I'm Passive Monty 3 and I'm going to be showing you the latest 64-bit version of Windows 8. Okay, I'm just going to start up my HP with Windows 8. I'm just going to warn you, if you have trouble seeing the boot up screen, it's only because for some reason I get like a 3 second boot, which is really quick. But I'll hit it. It's basically the Windows 7 beta fish when it says welcome instead of starting Windows. Um, you'll be able to see that in a second, I hope. So, Okay, if you can see this right about now, that's what it is and okay you may have seen this screen before it's like a pre-login screen if you want to get past this you just hit the space bar or something and that takes you to the new login screen you actually have to activate these using a program called red pill and it enables all these features that um, login screen background the, the new design and everything so I'll just type in my password and before I hit enter on that I'll just point out that down here you have a power button similar to the older ones but it's got that more modern look so it's got that square look restart shut down hibernate you get the drill and I'll just log in you'll notice it logs in quick and it's even got a bit of a nice transition compared to the old fade that you used to see and there is the Windows 8 desktop of course and it has the message down here saying blah 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 confidential unauthorized use it is the evaluation copy as you can see it's build 7989 as I may have stated I'm not 100% sure if I can if I did now um, you have to activate all these extra features I'm going to show you but besides that they are hiding in between the scenes my computer or just the Explorer window has changed a bit you've got you've now got the ribbon user interface as you may know from office 2007 and 2010 um, same sort of stuff here with your hard drives whatever you've also got the side panel and you've got the little bar down the bottom where you can change the view and everything and even the taskbar with the time and everything you can change your look and everything through here but I didn't click on that but yeah you can change your look whatever through there time and date I doubt that's changed much not same thing logging into internet it's a little bit different once I clear this up um, it's actually got more of a sort of slide effect so I'll just double click on this and you'll see how that slides away and it gathers information instead of just having the separate box down here which pops up for your password it's all integrated into that and yeah connects me straight to that yep I'm connected okay now I'll go back um, okay Dif slightly different thing as well is in the system properties um, down near Windows activation you don't actually have that big blue genuine sticker anymore once it's activated it just says it there windows is activated then there's a genuine center which basically tells you all your details it may say windows 7 ultimate but that's only because windows 8 beta at the moment needs a windows 7 beta key to run and then it has to be a beta key 64 or 30 subit depending which windows 8 you're running I'm running the 64-bit and I've been able to genuinely activate this with my own beta key from the Windows 7 uh, beta period. Um, okay, a few different things. User accounts. Inside here, 
same sort of stuff as you used to change your password you can enable or disable touch access so if it's a touch screen computer you can set it up for touch you can also set up a pattern for a password so you could just click on whatever squares you want and you could make that your password whatever you like and then you just set it up and you'll log in with that I don't like that because I don't have a touch screen it'll just be too much well too much to do when it comes to logging in I'd rather type in a password um, okay you may have even noticed that up here the um, buttons have changed a bit the cross and everything there's no actual buttons around or square surrounding it and the boxes windows are actually a little bit more square than you may previously be used to not much of a difference but it's there and it's almost complete transparency because you can literally go straight over things like that and read straight through them like that which is it's good but it does get annoying when you've got other text you want to read okay you have a new Internet Explorer which sometimes works and sometimes doesn't I'll have to disable Aero first to do it so I've got to do control shift and F9 just give me one second Control shift F9 okay that's Aero off so it basically looks like Windows 7 basic or starter whatever without the error same old stuff and then you go back to the original um, Windows 7 and Vista basic icons and everything at the top okay now the new Internet Explorer it's actually called Microsoft uh, one sec it's in here it's under you gotta go to C program files Microsoft and then it's called immersive browser if you can see that you go in there and it's called MI explore again you can't use it properly unless you have aero disabled and you have fixed up the MUI DLL or something using um, the red pill so I'll click on it cross things it loads I'm not sure if it will. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Obviously this time it's a no-show. But besides that, it normally loads up and it doesn't fill the whole screen. It stupidly only fills up a little square around here, which is annoying. But, yeah. Um, besides that, there is no, well, basically no difference. Oh, one other difference. You can activate little touch like a touch keyboard from the bottom and they have changed the look of it it's in a way more fancy than what you used to have in XP and Vista and 7 just that other drag around window but this one is made more for touch as Windows 8 is going to be used to run on tablets a little bit more than it is currently if it is at all um, you can change this to recognize handwriting so you can write in it I'm not sure if that's working, no money to. Yeah, it's made mainly for touch that part. You could change it to a split keyboard. If it's on a tablet, that would be best. Like on iPad on iOS 5, you can split it, the keyboard to each half of the screen, which comes in handy. Believe me. You've got that, as usual. You've even got um, the emoticons. So, you've got all your different emoticons and love hearts and whatever people like to use and the numbers as well so you've got your numbers on one side and your other symbols and whatnot on the other besides that from what I can get to at the moment that is one of the main differences or one of the new things for the upcoming Windows 8 which is due for release I think sometime in October next year so keep your eyes out people for newer updates of Windows 8 or any news that you find. Um, if you like this video or need to ask questions, like, um, post it in the comments, subscribe please, I need subscribers. Um, but otherwise, that is Windows 8 Beta 64-bit for you. And I'll see you around with another video later on. Thanks and bye.